What's up everyone, it's your boy Norm Rad 89 here bringing you another video and you know what time it is, a Rad Movie Review for The Flash. Yes, The Flash is out and I got a chance to go to the IMAX, went and checked this out and man, it was very exciting, fun, fueled time, really, really is an awesome ride. This is really a DC lover's just wet dream. That's a great way to describe this film. So today we're going to talk about the positives, the negatives, the rating, and then I'm going to send you all home. And this is going to be strictly all non-spoilers, so don't worry about any spoilers for this video. So let's get into this. Roll it. <laughs> First, before we get down to the review, it's time to show off some of the stuff. We did get the special cup right here. I went to the Regal, and this was near the, like I said, the IMAX screening in the Regal. And look at that right there. Just like, oh, fabulous, fabulous. I love that. And then we also got the popcorn tin as well, or the popcorn bucket. Now it's not tins anymore. They're buckets with some mushroom popcorn while we talk about this review right here. So, oh, man, flash. Fantastic, fantastic time. It really was. Like I said, the best way to describe this film is this is a DC lover's just wet dream. It has so many cool Easter eggs. It's got a lot of great action, good story moments, good potent emotional moments. And man, like I was just really happy. This was a film that I wasn't really super excited for, not like Batman level excitement. And I think that was a great way to go into this film because I think if I was at that level of excitement, I might, I might've just been a little bit let down. So I just kind of went in, kind of tamed my expectations and was thoroughly entertained all the way through. So now let's get into the main positives for the Flash film. So first of all, the cast. I think the cast, in terms of their performances in the film, they all did a fantastic job. Ezra Miller, Michael Keaton, Ben Affleck, even Sasha Kaye as Supergirl, a fantastic new entry addition into this film. And they asked her to do a lot because like I said, she's a new addition playing Supergirl, a different version of Supergirl that we've never seen on screen before. And to have to get attached to this character and feel for this character and get emotional, you know, when certain stuff happens or anything like that, or just like in general, like that's what I mean. She did a great job. So yeah, in terms of performances, I think all across the board, everybody nailed it. I think the action sequences are very well done as well. They're all like very entertaining. And I was like, actually like just my like leg was like kind of jumping and I was like, you know, like just a constant kind of jump and motion because I was so excited in terms of the story and the way that they just kept you enthralled with it and the action and everything. And man, like for real, this is a film that keeps you on the edge of your seat and it's very entertaining all the way through and you don't really feel the runtime at all. Like at no point during this film was I like, did it feel like it was dragging or I was like, oh, I can do without this part or anything like that. I felt like every moment was warranted and earned in this film for me. Another great key thing is we did talk about the performances, but it is such a glorious thing to have Michael Keaton back as Batman and to see him in the suit again and just all the roles, all the moments, all those iconic lines like Michael Keaton just knocks it out of the park. And one other major thing for me that did a very good job was the comedy. I think the comedy in this film, it feels very natural and it lands. And it's like, and a lot of it does go out there very silly, but the comedy I think lands more often than not for me, in my opinion. Another great thing is just that third act like for real by the time we get to that third act like it's just really freaking amazing like i loved it it was one of those films that for me like i said as i was going through it's it really is a dc lover's wet dream like for real, the easter eggs the moments the lines there's so many good iconic like just like seeing the batmobile again like that iconic 89 batmobile so many kids grew up on that and to see Michael Keaton's Batcave and the Batmobile is just like chef's kiss. So there's a lot of moments and I think they're all earned. And by the time you get to that third act, the emotional moments, all the stuff, it pays off for me. And yeah, this is a film that it, it landed for real. And just about every aspect it landed, like in terms of mixed and negatives, let's kind of get into that right now is like, really, it's just kind of minor things. And there is really bad CGI in here at points, but for me, I can forgive it because of the journey and the, you know, destination and the fun ride that the film took me on that it didn't take me out of it. It wasn't CGI that awful that took me out of it. I'm looking at you, Ant-Man Quantumania. 
So yeah, for me, like I said, the CGI, it wasn't so bad that it took me out of the film just because of the amazing ride that it was taking me on. And my only other negative for this film really is that I feel like it kind of sucks that this film is going to have no implications on the future. You know what I mean? As far as we know, like I said, James Gunn's not, this film's not going to be canon in the DCEU that he's creating. So it's kind of like it really, maybe it might, it makes Flash a little bit greater because it does feel like an end of an era. You know what I mean? Kind of thing. And it's like, damn, is this going to be that last film that kind of feels like the Snyder verse? It feels like that universe that we were getting attached to that that what could have been type thing, you know what I mean? Because I love the Snyder Cut. I love Batman v Superman, Man of Steel. So as like I said, is the Flash film going to be the last one that feels like it's part of that universe and this is the end? And that's like I said, what kind of sucks is that there's probably no implications for the future with this film. But that's my only negatives really. And for me, those are kind of minor ones that I could really overlook with all the greatness that is happening in this film. Like I said, I highly highly recommend checking this film out in the theaters because even just not having the IMAX experience just check it out in theaters because this is one of those films that has the thrills it has the emotional moments the action-packed moments that just so many cool easter eggs and for superhero fans they're really gonna love this so for me in terms of a rating for this film like I said we have to nail down a rating for this bad boy the flash for me is gonna get a 9 out of 10. This is, like I said, nearly a very, very perfect freaking comic book film. In terms of the experience and what it gave me, it was perfect, definitely. But I could definitely acknowledge the fact that there might be some minor negatives going on in here, but that's just little tiny ones, so nitpicky ones. On a second watch, on a third watch, this film might be able to climb up to that 10 out of 10, a perfect thing. But 9 out of 10 is still a very fucking solid rating. Like I said, a film that I highly recommend checking out because this is one of those films that you're never going to forget that you saw it in theaters. And also, no spoilers, but there is a post-credit or after-credit scene, so you have to stick through to the credits to check out that scene. Like So yeah, there is a scene to stick through just to let you know and everything like that. So yeah, thanks for sticking around with me all for this review of The Flash. If you've seen The Flash movie or even if you haven't, just let me know what's your excitement down below or what did you think of the film so we can discuss all that stuff and be sure to like, subscribe, poke that notification bell so you're notified anytime I post a video because yeah, that all helps out the channel, those likes and everything and you know commenting. You wouldn't believe how much that actually really does help the algorithm. So I would greatly appreciate that. But most importantly, you know what's all up. Have a safe and happy day. Peace out.